Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft. Um, I wanted to do a series of videos on free bushcraft kit. Um, the idea came from a guy called Mika, uh, who I believe is in from Stockholm. And he does a series of videos putting together a bushcraft kit that just cost him nothing. Um, it's stuff that he's found or he's come across or people have given him as gifts. So that was the idea behind it. I've already spoken to Mika and he said it's okay for me to do a series of videos because I think it's a really good idea. So today is my first entry in my bushcraft kit for free. Now part of this you've already seen before. It's my uh, hobo stove from a bean can, uh, which didn't cost me anything. Uh, but I have actually added to that. Um, I've recently acquired a slightly bigger can, which had some potatoes in, tin potatoes. Um, I've used one of the battery operated can openers to take the lid off, and it doesn't leave any sharp edges. And because of that, it's allowed me to put a little bolt in the lid, the tin, uh, and use that as a lid for my billy cam. So that's the lid. Now inside is my hobo stove, which you've already seen. Uh, now what I've done, before I came out yesterday, I've pre-loaded the hobo stove with uh, some tinder, and some kindling, some uh, birch bark, just so it's all dry, it's ready to go, it's just a case of lighting it. I'm carrying the tinder and the um, kindling anyway in my bag, ready for when I want to make a little fire, so I thought I might as well just preload it, save me a bit of time. It's not going to always going to be the case, but I just thought it was an idea. So that's the hobo stove. Um, and then the bigger size tin. I've created, I've put a, drilled two holes in, I've created a little handle, which just goes on there like that. Uh, I've got a little indentation there, which is for this. It's a little chain I've made out of, um, I found some curtain rings, and these little hooks are on the curtain rings. Um, I've joined them all together, uh, squeezed them up with a pair of pliers so they don't come apart and that hooks on there and then that you can hang from a little tripod over a fire or whatever means you want to use for suspending that and again that didn't cost me anything so that's that and then once you've got your stove going you can put that on there don't do away with that uh, and cook yourself a little meal on there some noodles or boil some water for a brew You've got your little lid to go on top. Um, you've already seen the other little billy can um, from the flask, thermos flask. You've already seen that, so I won't go into that. Uh, and then there's the pop can stove, which you can make very cheaply if you find yourself a can from a bin. Um, some cutters, scissors, knife, and you can make yourself a really good, very lightweight stove, which costs you absolutely nothing. So. All that together has cost me absolutely nothing. I think it's a really versatile little kit. Um, it's quite enjoyable to make, especially when you've finished it and you put it all together. Um, obviously when I haven't got kindling and twigs and stuff in there, um, that would also fit inside there, which in turn would fit inside there. So it all goes together in just that one can. Uh, you will have that left over, but that can just sit on the top in your bag or in your rucksack. Um, and then of course there's my little spoon which I made so that didn't cost me anything just to go along with the cup kit so there you go that's my first entry on my free bushcraft kit the hobo stove cook set give it a try see you on the next video